look at each other intensely into each other's eyes. Empire, think Empire. Think Empire. <laughs> <laughs> You only gotta wait like one more hour. Ah, uh, one more hour. I have this for you. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> I waited for this moment my entire life. I can only picture the smile on the Lord's face as He sees this beautiful day. On the day we met, I was so nervous. I could feel my own breath and heartbeat. Just like, I kind of feel it like right now. <laughs> We've got the sun shining. It's, it's, it's apropos for where we're at in this moment right now because we're gathered in the sight of God and before this company uh, to join Josh and Sarah in holy matrimony. You know, traditionally, her Pinterest board, if y'all don't know, is massive. It is categorized, it is color coordinated, it is like everything. It is alphabetized, like all of it, down to the minutes. And I was like, yeah, this girl, I know exactly what her wedding's gonna look like. We're gonna have lots of people, we're gonna have great food. Her dress is gonna be incredible, obviously. I got the train. I got the whole thing. Yeah. It seems crazy, like you plan a whole wedding for eight months and then you just like don't think about how you're gonna feel like two hours before, but it is like such a whirlwind. It's so crazy to be here and I'm just really excited that it's finally here and the rain has stopped, <laughs> so we're good to go. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. Uh, Lord, I thank you for guiding him up until this day, this moment. Working in his heart, Lord, and just allowing him to be sensitive to your voice. That's what we pray for for years and years to come, Lord, that Josh will continue to be faithful to your voice for your spirit, Lord. Uh, we pray for just a you know, home of peace. As someone who considers themselves good with words, these ones did not come so easy. Every time I thought I captured my feelings for you and the promises that I would make, you would show me a new depth of love or grace, loyalty or grit that made me start from scratch. It's kind of like this blending of two lives together, sort of like the merging of two streams when they come together, they just become one. After our fourth date, I was blown away. I was like, who is this amazing woman? God, please let me marry her. I can remember that night like it was yesterday, and I remember our walk on Centennial Park as we looked at the stars. God's perfect plan had all of this written out. Josh, will you place the ring then on Sarah's finger? <laughs> I love you more than any fight that we could ever have. I love you more than any tough decision. I love you more than anything in this lifetime or the next that would dare try to tear us apart. I look into your eyes and I see the rest of my life. You've made it so easy to say I do. By the state of Minnesota, and by the power invested in me by God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss. First of all, we just want to welcome Sarah into our family. Along with Sarah comes her family. We're going to be family for the rest of our lives. Uh, well, Josh and I went looking for our tuxes, and as soon as he saw it, he's like, <laughs> sits down. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? The lady had to get him some water. He was flush. But anyway, uh, we were sitting in our deer blind one day. We go wedding dress shopping for Sarah, and we walk into the bridal salon, and the lady comes up to us, and she's like, Sarah, what are you looking for? Sarah goes, straight, uh, like straight face. She goes, I'm looking for something simple, no sparkle, nothing, just simple. I'm really a minimalist bride. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, <laughs> Sarah walks out in this one and is teary-eyed and just so in love with the dress, and I knew in that moment that she was so ready for this day. And I just think that's such a beautiful thing about you guys is you're both so excited and so eager to share something with the other person. Um, and that's just such a beautiful thing. Even though the twins always lose to the Yankees, I won't ever despise you for it. 
But when the Twins win the championship World Series, I don't want to see any tears. <laughs> I promise to watch sports with you and listen to you talk player stats even if I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> and I vow to always cheer on the Twins so long as they aren't playing the Yankees. Whatever each day holds, I promise to hold your hand through it. Well, let's have another round of applause. We'll start that out first. I'm very proud of both of you. Welcome to our family, our much bigger family now. It's been a blessing today. I know there was a time in my life where things weren't necessarily okay. But I'm glad that things are different today. And I wouldn't have missed this for the world. And I'm a very proud father to have you as my son, Josh. And I couldn't be more happy to see this happen for you. I love you. As we have gotten to get to know Joshua more and more, we knew that this was a match made by God himself. My tears today were happy tears because this day is a testimony to God's faithfulness in our lives. So may the Lord bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Joshua and Sarah.